Have you ever wondered why we haven't landed on Mars yet? It's a question that has intrigued scientists, dreamers, and the curious alike. Mars, our celestial neighbor, a world that could potentially harbor life, remains untouched by human footprints. You see, despite our advancements in technology and our deep-rooted desire to explore, there are a multitude of challenges that stand between us and the Red Planet. From the 225 million mile distance and the hostile environment, to the psychological hurdles that come with such a journey, these obstacles have kept Mars just beyond our grasp. So, let's dive in and explore the challenges that keep Mars just out of our reach for now. The first obstacle is the sheer distance. Imagine setting off on a road trip, but instead of a few hours or even days, you're looking at a journey that could take seven months. That's the reality of traveling to Mars. The planets Earth and Mars are constantly moving orbiting the Sun at different speeds and on different paths. This cosmic dance results in a limited launch window that comes around just once every 26 months. But what about speeding things up, you might ask? Well, that's where technology comes in. Our current rocket fuel propulsion systems are not quite up to the task of reducing travel time significantly. However, there's potential in alternatives like nuclear thermal propulsion or nuclear electric propulsion systems. These technologies could provide the sustained thrust and efficiency needed to make the journey to Mars more feasible. However, they are still theoretical. But remember, it's not just a matter of getting there. We also need to bring everything we'll need with us and hopefully bring our astronauts safely back home. All these factors make the Mars mission a monumental challenge. In short, getting to Mars is a long and complex journey, but technology might just have the answer. Once we reach Mars, the next challenge is surviving there. A hostile environment awaits us on the Red Planet, an environment that's as inhospitable as it is alien. Imagine stepping onto a world where the air is unbreathable, the temperatures swing to extremes, and the very soil beneath your feet is laced with toxic dust. Now, if that isn't enough, add into the mix a constant barrage of intense radiation unchecked by the lack of a protective magnetic field like we have here on Earth. Surviving in such conditions is a gargantuan task, one that calls for meticulous planning and innovative solutions. Food and supplies, for instance, would be a crucial concern, unlike a trip to the grocery store here on Earth. Resupply missions to Mars could take months, even years. The answer? We send food and supplies in advance, stockpiling resources to ensure our astronauts never run out. Now, let's talk about the air, or the lack thereof. Mars's thin atmosphere is primarily carbon dioxide, not exactly conducive for human survival, but hope lies in the frozen water reserves on the planet. Through a process known as electrolysis, we could potentially split water into hydrogen and oxygen, giving us a much needed supply of breathable air. But what about the constant radiation? Well, we'll need to find or create shelter. This could mean living underground or using Martian soil and rocks to shield our habitats. It's a bit like building a sandcastle, only this one's meant to keep out deadly cosmic rays. Mars is not a welcoming place, but with careful planning and innovative solutions, we might just make it our second home. The final hurdle is not physical, but psychological. This uncharted territory of the mind may pose the most formidable challenge yet. Isolation and distance from Earth, our home, our blue planet, can have profound psychological effects. For astronauts embarking on a mission to Mars, it's not just about the seven-month journey through the vast emptiness of space. It's about the harsh reality of living in isolation on a desolate planet millions of miles away from the familiar. Imagine the silence, the solitude, the sheer alienness of it all. It's not just a physical journey. It's a journey into the self, a test of one's mental fortitude. The isolation can lead to feelings of loneliness, depression, and even hallucinations. The delay in communication, 10 minutes each way, can exacerbate these feelings, leaving astronauts feeling cut off from the world they once knew. So how do we overcome this psychological hurdle? Extensive training and preparation are paramount. Programs to simulate the experience of long-term isolation and confinement are already being implemented, helping astronauts to cope with the mental challenges they may face. Virtual reality could also prove invaluable, providing stress relief and entertainment, offering a semblance of normalcy in an environment that is anything but normal. The mind can be our greatest ally or our worst enemy, and overcoming this hurdle is as important as any other. So why haven't we landed on Mars yet? 
Well, the answer is not simple, but it lies in three main hurdles. Distance, environment, and the human psyche. The vast expanse between Earth and Mars, a journey that could take seven months with a limited launch window every 26 months, is our first roadblock. Add to that communication delays that could stretch to 20 minutes, and you've got a logistical nightmare. Next, we find ourselves grappling with a hostile environment. Mars, with its unbreathable atmosphere, extreme temperatures, toxic dust and intense radiation, is far from hospitable. Landing safely is another challenge due to the thin Martian atmosphere, and about a third of attempted landings have been unsuccessful so far. Even if we land, establishing a base would be a monumental task, demanding a constant supply of resources and protection from harsh conditions. Finally, there's the psychological dimension. The isolation, the confinement, the distance from home, these are all factors that can take a toll on the human mind. But despite these obstacles, solutions and workarounds are being explored. From better propulsion systems to research on the International Space Station, we're inching closer to our Martian dream. Mars remains a challenge, but one we're getting closer to overcoming every day. Until then, keep looking up at the stars and wondering because curiosity is the first step to discovery. If you like this content, hit the like button, subscribe and share the video with someone else. Your feedback keeps the videos coming. Thank you.